In slippers and a total living in a world of fairy tale, Ho Honglan could be the envy of many girls. As the prima ballerina of the National Ballet of China, she's always on her toes. But the dance of life for her means much, much more. On today's The List, we meet China's princess of ballet, Ho Honglan. The moment she dons her ballerina shoes and tutu, Hong Lan feels ready to fly. Even as a child, Hong Lan had an unwavering intuition she could dance. And she did dance, even before she could read or write. The road to the summit of the dance world is too rough. The ascent too steep for many. Most just don't have the talent. Even for the best dancers, it's a road strewn with pain, tears, solitude, and setbacks. Because starred with the National Ballet of China, despite her 1.74 meter stature, which sometimes made it difficult to find a local partner for the pas de deux. Her credits include principal roles in almost all the troupe's classics, from Swan Lake to China's own story, The Red Detachment of Women. In her 10-year career with the troupe, Hong Lan was there for many triumphs as the ballet company strove for recognition on the international stage. In 2001, director Zhang Yimou adapted his film Raise the Red Lantern into a ballet. The ballet is laden with imagery created by an unorthodox melding of pirouettes and chong sam. Ho Hong Lan seemed especially fitted as one of the sylphs entwined in the doomed love affair. Ta 然后这种美就是更加含蓄一点，像中国式的这种。But Hong Lan is becoming less inclined to dance as others dictate. The wellspring of her own creativity is bubbling up. She's had a taste of success as a choreographer. Her choreography of the ancient Tibetan dance for a film won the applause of literati among the dance world. Oh. 
不一样的东西，可能大家爱看的东西，因为芭蕾是阳春白雪哈，大家觉得有的观众其实根本没进剧场看过，他就说这个东西离我太远，我欣赏不了。其实他们从来没有试过，呃，你你有什么办法能把观众引到剧场里来呢？或者从这方面考虑更多一些？ Hongland set up her own studio in Shanghai in 2006 after leaving the National Ballet. The studio's debut production was Shakespeare and His Women. She trained as a classical ballet dancer, but Hongland always had a predilection for modern dance, where she finds a more comfortable way to express herself. The new drama. With plenty of modern ballet elements, gives Hongland many tools for interpreting Shakespeare and for adding her own touches. Shakespeare, 大家都知道的，他的这两个故事我选的也是大家都很熟悉的，像 Hamlet 和这个 Macbeth。然后这两个人物从。女性从人物性格上讲又反差非常大，这对我来说，我觉得第一，嗯，因为大家都知道莎士比亚可能，这个从市场上讲哈，这个省去了很多的宣传，比如我一个新的剧目，大家都不知道的，呃，然后这两个女孩子呢，一个是像百合一样很纯净，然后很有奉献精神，还有一个是。心狠手辣的，其实像白天鹅和黑天鹅一样，我觉得这两个角色我都尝试过，但是其实把它换到了另外的一个两个人物里头，所以对我从刚刚开始创作的话，呃，可能会容易一些。Hongland believes she's in for a season of warm sunlight and infinitely lush fruitfulness. If you, like now, do things that make you feel happy, then in the next few years, you won't be sad. You will feel that what you want to do is what I've already done. Even if I leave the stage, I won't be sad. What I'm most afraid of is that if one day I fall off the stage, I won't be sad. 跳不了的时候，我会想，哎呀，当时如果我再怎么怎么坚持一下，我可能这个事情就做到了